Relax your body. Do you believe in what you see? Shake off the stiffness in your limbs. Cause in my heart you hold the key. Close your mind. And death could never swallow me. Let go of the fear. Cause every army has to sleep. Take a deep breath and dive. Put down your arms and follow me. Travel is becoming more accessible, and with that, the places you once loved because of their peaceful isolation might be getting crowded. But that doesn't mean there's nowhere else to look. The Philippines is a country filled with adventure, from the mountains to the sea. Grab a car and create your own journey. This is Going Coastal. It's hard to explain the feeling of freediving. There's a certain peace that comes from it. I don't know if I'll ever get old. Once you've overcome the fact that your body is telling you to breathe, quiet isolation finds you. All I know is that I want to get close. Extending the mere 30 seconds you are at the bottom to feeling like a short-lived eternity. As you go deeper, this feeling only intensifies until you finally look up, realizing how far you've gone, knowing that you have only completed half the journey. But we know what it takes and we'll make mistakes, but we'll wash them. Open waters, oh, open waters. These oh, open waters. As you ascend, you slip back into reality. The closer you get to the surface, the stronger the urge to take a breath, until you finally emerge, gasping for salty air. It's energy coursing through your entire being. This episode actually starts in Makati. I'm on Makati Ave right now looking for the Hertz rental shop to get our car for this trip. Um, it's about 4 p.m. so the sun's coming down. It's gonna be a long night. If you're in Manila, you can rent a car from them in terminals one, two, and three at the international airport or from their Makati office. They have a large fleet and a good selection of SUVs which are the perfect cars to navigate the roads of the country. For this trip, we got a spacious Nissan Terra. Need to make space. We're getting uh, two free divers in the car with us. So, you want me to put the box on top of this one? Surprisingly. Yeah. <laughs> you guys comfortable? You good? Yeah. <laughs> All right, so we're finally outside of the traffic in Makati, heading down south all the way to Batangas Port. It's gonna be a very boring two hours drive in the dark. Um, and then we're jumping on a boat with a car. I cannot live without you by my side. After what seemed like a maze at the Futangas port with no signs, I think we're in the right lane to go to Abra de Ilog, which is the port we'll be leaving from to then go down to Sablayan. Um, it's about 11.30 now. Um, I think our boat leaves at 1, so we just wait. Like, we really have to pee. <laughs> I gotta pee so bad. There's no bathroom. Here, just so you see, it's, uh, we have a rainbow of receipts happening. 
In a country filled with both large and small islands, a car might not strike you as your first preferred mode of transportation. In come the Roros, roll-on, roll-off ships that can accommodate trucks and cars. These are available everywhere and connect most of the major islands. You could effectively drive your car all the way from northern Luzon to the south of Mindanao without too much difficulty. Mindoro is the seventh largest island in the Philippines and is split into two provinces, Occidental Mindoro and Oriental Mindoro. This island is known to have some great diving spots and ranges of mountains to trek. We finally got here to Sablayan. The drive actually wasn't too bad. It was about three hours 30 total in terms of active driving time, which is not really bad. Leaving Manila at 10 p.m., we got here finally, I think it's around 6 a.m. So it, it, is, it is a long overnight trip, um, but I feel fairly fresh. Let's see how long that lasts. Like any good trip on the coast, it's always good to start off at the market. We need to buy food for about two nights. I'm not sure what we'll be able to get, but hopefully something interesting. Markets are always so cinematic. So a little known fact that a lot of people actually don't know, a lot of the tuna that you find in like Jensen and Davao and stuff, there's been a lot of overfishing in those areas. So a lot of it actually comes from Mindoro, Sablayan and San Jose especially, do a lot of line fishing for the tuna. Um, so for sure we'll be able to see that in the market someplace, somewhere. We're probably going to buy some too. Makana is 1 kilo. 180. So I'm thinking for tonight and make like a corn curry-ish dish, so spicy, and then put some fish on top. Should be delicious. May luya po kayo. Yes. Makana po? 16. Bakit marunong kayo magpagano? Kasi Filipino ako. Uh, Ang iyong nanay? Uh, from Laguna. Salamat. Thank you. Anong tipong isda doon? Uh, kuyog na bunlis. Kuyog? Oh, kuyog. Okay. Salamat. Salamat. We only had 72 hours, so we focused purely on Apo Reef. However, the west coast of Occidental Mindoro has lots of other things to offer, from the Mount Calavite Wildlife Sanctuary to the Iglit Baco National Park, Elian Island, and Grace Island, to name a few. We actually previously shot in this region, and we had the opportunity to go visit a local Mangyan tribe in the mountains. Finally on the boat, it's really hot. I'm the idiot that decided to wear pants on a diving trip in the Philippines, I know. Um, so we're on our way to Upper Reef. If you look at it on the map, we'll show you that. It, it's basically a tiny rock in between Palawan and Mindoro. So it's in the middle of nowhere. So it's going to be absolutely pristine and beautiful. Um, the boat trip is about two hours? Three hours. Three hours. So it's going to be a lot of this for three hours. I used to scuba dive a lot in Puerto Galera as a kid, but had never taken up free diving. It's a sport that more and more people are taking a liking to, so I knew we had to be surrounded by professionals for this trip. We contacted Sea Zoned Philippines, a company that teaches all levels of freediving. I highly recommend taking courses or trips with them. We were accompanied by Nico Soriano and Jen Abanilia, the owners of Sea Zoned, one of their instructors, MJ, based in their Koran outfit, Glenda and Kevin, both avid freedivers. Finally, part of our video team, we had underwater videographer Seb Gilbert and Mon Kizon. Finally here, Apari. That was a long, long trip. So we just set up um, our camp, hammocks, tents and all. Um, and then we're just waiting for lunch and then we're going to go off for our first dive. Um, but first impressions of the island, it is absolutely gorgeous. Uh, the sand is nice and white and fine and we are the only ones here because it's a weekday so there's not a lot of people. Um, so yeah, it's all for us. Just amazing. What's the best way for someone to get into the sport? Uh, you have to take the basics of skin diving first. So they have to know the safety aspects of the sport. Uh, yeah, basically that's it. 
<laughs> so if someone today wants to decide, all right, I'm gonna start free diving, like, what's the process that you guys guys do? Uh, usually, well, through our company, Season. So you can plug, go for it. Yeah. So yeah, we ask them to take the basics of skin diving. Basically, it's a half day course. So they'll know the basics of yeah, uh, free diving and skin diving. So even if you're not a, uh, if you're not, if you're a non-swimmer. Uh, we will teach you how to float, how to thread properly, and the most important part of it is the safety aspect because we never compromise safety when we all, when we do free diving. I started free diving just uh, from my friends, so I didn't know the safety aspect yet, and I uh, blacked out and. Uh, I uh, didn't see the blackout uh, coming, so I didn't feel the blackout coming. Uh, good thing my friend uh, Jen is uh, with me, so I was uh, revived. I uh, have my second life, so uh, thanks to Jen, and uh, now I know better. I live a lifetime every moment when I'm holding you close. Lay your head down on my shoulder Honey, I won't ever let go Because you pulled me like a magnet Now I'm right where I belong I'm gonna love you the same for the rest of my days And on and on and on Cause as long as we keep dancing We'll stay young at heart And every time I hold you in my arms that was so much more challenging than I thought it would be. It's so physically and mentally taxing. You're thinking of so many things. You're trying to keep your breath. You're trying to equalize. You're trying to make sure that you enjoy the actual dive and seeing the things around you. We saw a shark, uh, there's some turtles, there's a ray. There's a lot of things happening and I love seeing the sea so alive, just so colorful and, and hopefully the shots can translate that on video because what we saw was absolutely gorgeous and I can't wait for the next few days of just doing the same thing and seeing different things. In a country like the Philippines where there's a lot of islands, a lot of sea, I've, I've been to a lot of provinces and a lot of people are still scared of the ocean. And I think free diving is a great sport to get into. What I learned today was, you know, in scuba diving, it's like having modern technology on your side where you can breathe underwater for a long period of time and that leaves you and gives you the time to appreciate all the things that you see. Whereas with free diving, it, it feels like real life. Like you're down there, if you blink, you miss moments. And and I think that's the excitement of it. It's, it's because you need to stay so tranquil, so calm and so connected that you see absolutely everything that's, that's there. Today was a big day. We, we drove quite a bit took the ferries, took the boats. We dove for about, I don't even know, maybe two hours, two hours and a half, and I'm completely dizzy, so all I'm looking forward to right now is just sleeping on my hammock. Baby, every day's a honeymoon. So everyone's still asleep. Um, I got up to get the sunrise. It's just so peaceful. It's gonna be another big day today. I'm glad I got up 14 hours of sleep. <laughs> Pretty good. Apo Reef Natural Park, located at the northern tip of the Coral Triangle, is a series of coral reefs spread over 34 square kilometers. This makes it the second largest contiguous coral reef system in the world, right after the Great Barrier Reef. It has one of the highest diversity of coral, fish, and marine life biodiversity, and is a great place to see sharks in the Philippines. When seen from above, it's almost impossible to fit it all in frame. What attracted you to free diving? Gusto ko lang makita yung corals, mas maraming fish na makita. But then, after some point, um, gusto ko kasi push yung limit ko, yung sarili ko. So, I think, um, kung magagawa ko siya underwater, I think I, I can also apply it in real life. So, we're gonna dive right now at Igu Wall. This is actually our favorite spot because we've seen a lot of marine life here. Sharks, turtles, school of barracudas, eagle rays, manta ray. So we're pretty excited right now to actually experience all these, you know, abundant marine life.
first two dives were a little problematic. Visibility for one, the other one was current. So now we are in the third site, which is called, is it Shark Airport? Okay. Shark Airport. I'll let you guess why. Let's see if we see anything. Drinking it in while I'm drifting away. Breathing you out of my lungs. Up through the cosmos and out into space. You are my oxygen, but you're gone, gone, gone. Anywhere I go, I swear I can feel you. One of my favorite experiences was diving into a wreck with no fins on. It feels natural, yet is more taxing on your oxygen reserve. I've been talking to your gold. Inside the sunken ship, you are in control, thinking about how much effort you'll need to exert when you go back up, hoping you have enough air left in you to make that trip. Those few seconds, surrounded by metal and corals, are so liberating. I'm still absolutely tired from the diving. Um, simple dish that we're putting together, just throwing in some dried fish. This is just gonna help kind of flavor the oil. That's just to add a little bit of meatiness. So our main kind of component here is gonna be the corn. What I didn't realize is how tiring free diving is. I mean, when you see pictures and you see videos of people doing it, it seems so graceful and almost effortless, but doing it all day with these guys was pretty tiring. I still feel a little bit dizzy right now. And yeah, so that's why food's important. Like literally we were eating every two hours. Every two hours we're eating something um, just because we need to carb up and fuel up because it is quite taxing both mentally and physically. Last day, last dive on Apo. Uh, no current today, it's nice and flat. A uh, couple things today, we'll try to see some bigger fish uh, since there's no current. Um, and Glenda and I will try to beat our depth max. So we'll see what happens. 20 meters yesterday, let's try to get 25, 30 today. That was such a fun trip, but so tiring. Now we have to go back to Manila, all loaded up. We go from paradise to traffic. Hi, 
Apelido po. Yung sa po. Eh, ilan po sa kanya? Sa dalawa. 226. Bakit nang namin patel? <laughs> Sir, sa barko to. Ito sa barka. Opo. Okay. Salamat. Salamat po. Back on the SLX, back on the zone. Um, we're, well, Waze tells us we're gonna be back at the office at 9.30 p.m. So that would mean we did this trip in exactly 72 hours because we left at 10 p.m. Um, two days ago, so, uh, or three days ago, rather. Um, and yeah, that's why I like, you know, using cars because it does give you that flexibility. You're in charge of your time. The only thing that can slow you down is traffic, whereas if you take a plane, obviously, you know, you deal with air traffic and, and plane delays and stuff like that, and you can just fit so much in. We had a very short amount of time, so we weren't able to do other stops in Mindoro Occidental, but as I said in the video, there's there's so much to do in that province, on that island, rather. Um, and all in all, I just feel like, you know, we, it was 72 hours, but it felt so packed. We did so much stuff, um, and definitely it's the type of place that I definitely want to go back in. I think in terms of free diving, I'm now officially hooked as well, and I hope everyone gets to try it. Um, good times. Now all I want to do is sleep.